Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 23 video with the Pirates team this time around. And before we do get into it, something happened in between the time that I made my other videos for my Astros and Dodgers team and my Blue Jays team, and we were able to get someone very special on this team. So we're going to go back to past me, and then we'll hop right back to what we have for today. So here's past me. All right, guys, here's past me with the Pirates team. And as you guys can see, we have an Andrew McCutcheon 2014, his best year in the game, 66 base overall, great hitting stats, and the GI distribution makes it even better. We have 3,000 stars. Let's go ahead and get him. Now, this might seem like an unwise thing to do, being an early on team with, you know, not as much mileage and just a very young team, but I think this is a wise investment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let's just go ahead and get him though, and then we'll insert him into the lineup getting Andrew McCutcheon 2014 with his best year stats. All right. Now I think he goes to the inbox. So by the time I make my Pirates video again, you guys will see him in the lineup, probably fully upgraded uh, or mostly upgraded and then trained as well. So now let's go back to me in the present. So as you guys just saw, we did get Andrew McCutcheon 2014. He's not quite maxed out like I hoped I would have him by the time this video came around. But he's at level 14 out of 14. We land a, landed a pretty sweet set on him for skills, batting machine, and spotlight. It'll do for now. Uh, exhaustion is his third skill, but that's not really that important. And looking at the whole team, other than that, not, nothing much has changed. We're at 79.1 overall now. So hopefully we can hit the 85 overall mark to get the 85 overall achievement box. And we did get the 80 overall achievement box already. Just letting you guys know, we used gear and I opened that up. So we'll, we'll be opening up those packs today. That's what the team is looking like. If you guys are interested, I want to take you guys along this journey step by step. Uh, other than the McCutcheon, like I said, we haven't opened anything. So let's start off with the silver player packs. We have nine of them. We'll be opening everything. We have all-star packs, prime packs, team select diamond packs. We have the wish player pack. So thank you guys again so much for voting on that poll. It was a couple of weeks ago, but we did make a consensus. You guys voted for Jason Bay as we get a diamond right here. Let's see. Hopefully it's a Pirates card. But Jason Bay will be the card we'll pull in the Wish Player Pack. Anthony Rizzo, 17. Believe this is his best year. Not the greatest skills as my dog barks outside. 19 more of these packs. Let's see if we can get any more diamonds or any pirates. We have, I think, 12 team selective packs. Hopefully we can get some good upgrade material. There's a Colin Moran. Not his best year. All right, nine left. And those were all silvers. Kind of disappointing. We'll also be doing combos. We don't do combos that often, but... Uh, again, all silver, so that's not going to help for combos, really. Uh, there's a John Van Meter and a Brian Reynolds. All right, so it's nice to see some Pirates cards, but really wish I could see some gold so we could have some combos to do. We'll see if the silvers get lucky, though. Let's do this Premium Vintage Player Pack. Can we land a Legend or a Pirates card? Uh, if I do land a Pirate, it'll probably go into my lineup. And no, we get a Robin Yount to 82. Same division, wrong team. Brew Crew. Uh, it's kind of funny being uh, a pirates team yeah i have to get used to who's in the division and uh, the the other teams and just the new cards and i'm not well acquainted with the pirates as, as much as the other al east teams and american league teams i really don't have a, a national league team that i follow but let's do the ultimate player packs first before the team selectives and see how many diamonds we get there's a flash of blue love it and it's just one all right we get who's it gonna be Garrett Richards, 2020, not a bad starting pitcher card. Saving him, we'll be saving him for Mentor. He'll probably get uh, something with Location or Velocity. I save all my diamonds just to let you guys know on this team, I don't combo them away just because I am saving up for Mentor. It's it's a smart strategy in my opinion, and I think you guys would, uh, would agree. If you guys are starting a new team, definitely save your diamonds, the good ones at least. If it's a bad like 50 base overall, get rid of it. But the, the ones that are like 80 overall and above, keep them if they're not team cards all right 10 team selective packs pirates no diamond out of these 10 again all silvers come on what's what's up with this come on i need to see some golds uh moran cool melanson and do miguel and duhar played for the pirates since i did not know this so see this just shows how much i keep up with national league teams i, I did not know miguel and duhar got traded to the pirates or you got DF8 or something, I don't know. Zach Collins. All right, two more. Can we, one gold, please. 
Just one gold, or a prime, or something cool. Okay, two golds, thank you. That's where all the golds are. And Bell 18, not his best year, but I think it might be better than his 19, at the, and the skills are definitely better. And then a Bryce Wilson, probably not going to crack the rotation, so I'm not going to bother with that. He's probably going to go in the backups. Ultimate Team Selected Pack. Can we please see a diamond? That would be amazing if we did. Come on, baby. Let's go. It's a Team Diamond. That was clutch right there. Please be a good one. If it's a bad one, I'm going to make a funny face. Uh, I'll, ta I'll, ta I'll take it. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world. Could have been a lot better, but hey, it's a diamond. 60 base. Jet distribution at least goes more to power and contact, but I'll take it. It's, it's a diamond. Any diamond at this point in the game is, you know, a win. So before we do the wish pack, we're going to do the team select diamonds, prime player packs, and all-star packs. So we're going to get all those out of the way first. Let's do actually the all-star player packs because most likely there's nothing good out of these. Can we get a pirate's card? That'd be pretty cool. No diamond and one gold. So we'll do the silver first. Who's it going to be? Jim Anderson, 22. A pretty bad all-star card, actually. 62 base. Uh, he got injured. That's why. 79 games. But he did have a pretty good stat line there. And on the left side, this gold is a Acuna Jr. I've actually gotten this all-star card before. Sick, sick year for him. Um, that Those stats are amazing, other than the eye. But not useful to me. So now, let's do the prime player packs. If we get a team prime out of this, this would be clutch. Or a diamond. I, like I said in the last video, I have not seen a diamond out of these. First prime is Aaron Judge 17. Amazing power. Uh, one of the best primes in the game, hands down. All right. And the second prime is going to be not a diamond. All right. We'll actually peek at this one. It's a gold. We'll see who it is. It's another hitter with higher power. Um, not sure who they added as a Pirates prime, but let's just flip it and who see, see who this is. It's Anthony Rendon. I pulled this one a couple times as well. Nationals card. Another excellent prime, uh, if I do say so myself. But now here we go. The fun stuff for this team that should definitely benefit us. Uh, if I do, I'd be surprised. But here we go. We're going to do the team select regular diamond pack first. And we're going to see if this lands batter or pitcher. Uh, it depend This will make my decision on whether I go batter or pitcher on the uh, batter or pitcher pack. A lot of batter pitcher I just said there. But here we go. First one is going to be a... Another pretty, another 60 base overall card. Man, making a Pirates team is rough, guys. But he will help the set deck. Castillo, Diego Castillo. Another, there, so this is a, this, he's a Diego Castillo. There's Diego Castillo, the, the pitcher. But, and there's this one. Good grade increase, but, ugh, terrible. So that was a batter. So we're definitely going pitcher with this one. And then we're going to go with Jason Bay. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully we can land at least a half decent reliever. Or a good starter. Uh, my rotation needs two more diamonds. So this would be pretty helpful if this were our starting pitcher. Can it be good? Please don't be a 60 base. Mitch Keller, starting pitcher, 64 base. Okay, it's not a... Wow, 6 ERA, man. This is rough. These diamonds are rough. And these aren't diamonds in the rough. These are diamonds that are rough. They are jagged. They are not nice. Man, alright. So those are the diamond packs. Now the Wish Player Pack. Guaranteed we'll get a really good card out of this. Alright, here we go. Jason Bay. Uh, the best year. Uh, best card in the game for the Pirates uh, as far as batters go. 72 base. Let's hope we can get at least a good grade increase. I don't have skill changes, so... Jason Bay 05, Pittsburgh Pirates. Alright, there we go. It's done. He's on the squad. Just please be a good grade increase and come with some at least half-decent skills. There we go, 72 base, uh, 72 grade increase actually, and he does have a 72 base, and not bad skills, at least one gold skill is good, so he's going to slot into the lineup, into the outfield, love to see it, alright, now let me make the lineup changes, and then we'll get into some combos, actually let's see if there's any upgrade material before we do get into the next portion of the video, if we can upgrade McCutcheon or somebody like that, that would be great, and it doesn't look like we can upgrade any of our diamonds, except Castro. So we'll, I guess I guess we'll throw it in to him, see if he gets upgraded. He only has one year, I'm pretty sure. And it doesn't work. So let's get to combos and see if we can get anything. Alright, first shuffle of the day. It's an all-gold shuffle, no pirates. Let's just see who we can get. Any golds here help. We didn't get a lot out of the premiums, so... Uh, Cousins, not a bad card. Actually, a pretty bad card. Let's keep on moving, though, see if we can get any more shuffles. 
All right, second shuffle here. There's a Josh Harrison 14, one of his best years for the Pirates. I'm pretty sure that is his best year. Can we land him? We'll go bottom left. And he went middle top left. All right, so Alex Cobb, another gold. That's fine. Can we do and see more combos and more shuffles? Ooh, we get a prime there. David Robertson. Haven't gotten a prime out of a silver combo. Let's just take a look at that card for a second. 67 base overall. Yankees prime. I don't have enough stars to do a prime combo, so he's just going to get saved. But that's pretty cool. Haven't seen one of those in quite some time in playing this game. All right, we're into the golds now. And we get our first couple of diamonds. And they are absolutely trash diamonds. Yeah, I don't even... If I get them, they're just going into combos. Bottom, middle. Let's see who we get. We get uh, Reyes, Framnil Reyes. All right, that was a terrible diamond uh, round of diamonds in that gold shuffle. Let's do another gold combo. Can we see more diamonds, please? There's okay, that's much better. Mad Bum 17, not his best here, but Vado 11, actually one of his best cards. Uh, that would be pretty good for Mentor. As I've said in the past, Vado for Mentor is the ideal for I. He stayed. We get the gold. All right, I think we have one more combo in us for today. Uh, we might have two. You know what? I'll do three golds. And uh, let's see. No diamonds. I'm not going to combo those away. Can we get a shuffle? All right. Thankfully, we do. Unfortunately, no diamonds. All right. So we'll do one more shuffle after this. And hopefully, we can see a Pirates card. All right. Here we go. Last combo of the day. And we get a shuffle. Let's go. Maze 01. He has a prime for that year. No Pirates again. And we get at least one diamond today out of shuffles. No, we get JJ Puts 2010. All right, so and I think that's going to do it for the combos for today. I don't have stars to do any special combos, like I said. So I'm going to set the lineup and show that to you guys, and then we'll end off the video. All right, so after all the changes and training all the new diamonds and putting them into the lineup, this is what the team's looking like now. I know you guys can't see it because my camera's blocking it, but we have a Pittsburgh Pirates S set deck, a Diamond D set deck, a Silver D set deck, and we're now an 81.8 overall. Now, slowly but surely, we're getting there, guys. It's rough. These diamonds, I'm totally expecting them not to be good because this is the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the Pittsburgh Pirates don't have a lot of good cards. So, if you guys are enjoying this series, though, leave a like down below, hit share, and subscribe to the channel. That's going to do it for me today. If you guys like to, go ahead and check out my social media down below in the description box. I post on my I, Instagram, Reddit, and my Discord server, uh, MLB 9 Innings content. They're weekly and daily. Also, check out the other MLB 9 Innings YouTubers linked in the description box with their channels. I know you guys would like their videos, and I know they would appreciate your support. But I think I'm going to send it off for today. I'm done. That's going to do it for me. Have a great rest of your guys' day. I will see you all in the next video.